Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, I'm going to show you the worst packing job ever. I just received these two packages uh, from a seller, and we're going to get these opened up, and we're just going to pray that they're not damaged. So before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio, and video, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, while well, I purchased these online, went ahead and opened up this box saw how horribly it was packed so I thought I'd just make a quick video let's check them out and see what we've got the first one I opened it up it's in a real flimsy box and inside the box we have just some bubble wrap that's laid on top a $1,500 amplifier that's just sitting inside the box not wrapped or anything just going to pull that out. So no telling how well it survived. And then in the bottom, at least they did put some more bubble wrap. I mean, that's got to help, right? So as you can see, this box is pretty junky. So lay that off to the side. This is actually a KA-1000. This came from the Klipsch THX Ultra 2 series so basically this is an amplifier it's a thousand watt amplifier so you got 500 watts by two and you hook this up to a pair of subwoofers the thx uh, ultra 2 subwoofers we're going to look at that so let's get this opened up lay that off to the side now this is a pretty heavy box it's even got the sticker up here that says you know the weight is 86 pounds so you can see here the damage to the box, which that's not a big deal, but it's not a thick box. This is an 80 pound subwoofer. You can't put an 80 pound subwoofer in a box that's flimsy as anything. So there's a rip right there. And when I reach in there, I can feel the subwoofer. There's no padding. Flip it around, we even got a bigger hole over here. And that's all jacked up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll turn it sideways. So you can see, I mean, it is like, so let's go ahead and open it up and hope for the best. So the bad thing about ordering online, you just never know. And you always run a risk when you ship any kind of speaker, any kind of amplifier, things like that. But typically, um, you know, sellers are pretty good about, well, I say that. Okay, so looking at the top, I'll just lean this over a little bit. You can see, all right, we got padding, right? That's a good thing, cool. Oh, it's just kind of laying on there. Apparently the subwoofer is upside down, so I guess that'll make it easy. We're gonna lay it down to it. Let's lay it down on its side. Okay, actually it's totally flat back there. I didn't, I didn't know if it had any controls on it. I guess not, because it's a passive subwoofer. So let's go ahead and lay it down. Lean it up like that. And let's just take a look at this incredible packing job that this guy did. Nice. That is literally the worst packing job I've ever seen in my life. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, seriously, that's a lot of bubble wrap, but not one piece was. So you can see here, some pieces of the subwoofer actually got dinged up. We can look. Now, in the pictures that was sent to me, I did know about this piece here. But back here, it looks like the speaker actually got dropped on a corner and that's why it's important to protect the corners when you ship product so I mean overall I mean that's not gonna affect the sound quality it's in the back so it's not that big of a deal but you can definitely see how it was damaged during shipping so I may check with the seller yeah I mean it's definitely got some scuffs and scrapes which I knew that going into it um, you can see looks like right over here yeah, that, I don't know. It's hard to tell. 
But anyway, let's take a look at this. So this is the KW120THX. Let's take the grill off here. Okay. So the front looks really nice, man. This is like a metallic um, face here. Cabinet's just made out of wood. Driver looks solid. So um, and I'm going to get it hooked up, check it out, see what it's like. I've never actually heard, well, actually I've heard it one other time. A uh, long time ago, I heard a K... W120. I actually heard four of them hooked up in a system. The guy had clips, palladium speakers. Um, he had a bell center channel. And I mean, just some really, really nice high end gear. He had Krell amplifiers powering everything. So um, sounded really good. These things slam like crazy. So I was just curious. I had a chance to pick one up. So I figured I'd try it out here in the home theater. Not sure it's going to do much when I've got 15 inch drivers, um, you know, dual. Uh, SVS PB16 Ultras. I don't think this is going to compare. Um, but again, I may be able to use it as a uh, what they call a near field subwoofer. So this will be something that you put kind of close to you just to add some more tactile base. Um, it may be something that I just play with for a little bit and um, end up finding a new home for it. So anyway, guys, um, just wanted to kind of document um, how crappy of a job this unpacking or packing was. So, like I said, we'll get it fired up, connected. Um, see how she sounds. But there's the amplifier that goes with it. So this is a passive subwoofer. And then this is an active. So it actually has a left and a right. So you could hook up two subwoofers to it. Of course, there's only one, is that one cable? Probably one cable. Um, if you bought another subwoofer, it'd come with another cable. So you can actually use this one amp to power dual subwoofers in the THX Ultra 2 series. So anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I produce weekly videos on home theater audio and video. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video. Oh my gosh.